First of all, here's iRehearse Plus open. Uh, I've got a couple of tracks in my set list here. The song we're going to look at is this one here, Slow Burn. First things first though, my guitar I have here is actually tuned in E flat, so it's a semitone difference to actually this song. So rather than retune my guitar to standard tuning, what I'll actually do is retune the song. So first things first, here we have the song playing away. So just down here, if I knock the semitone down button, there we go. So now the song's actually playing in the same key that my guitar is tuned to. If we click across the details view, you'll see that we get a larger view of the waveform. Uh, also we have some marks here. I've already been through and marked some areas on this song, dropped some markers. Uh, so I can quickly navigate around. I can push the next marker button. You'll see the head, playhead, will jump through to the first marker and through to the second marker, third marker, fourth marker. Or I can actually use the quick jump menu here, which is this little button here, which I can then jump through to particular markers. The marker that we're actually going to be doing is the breakdown. So if I zip across to the breakdown, obviously it's going to be difficult to work at this zoom on here, but what I can actually do using the zoom slider, which is this slider just here, I can zoom right into the waveform. Now if we play, you'll actually see that each of the notes are fairly obvious on the waveform. So let's find that first note. Normally in iRehearse, you actually have your standard loops, which you will see are along here, five separate loops that you can mark in and mark out. What you can actually do in detailed view, it allows you to do quick selections. So if I click and drag above in these bars at the top, I can actually move my playhead. However, if I click and drag in an area here, I can do a quick selection. So that's quickly selected me a loop there. When you're in details view, the play always plays this quick selection if there is one. So if I press play now, so I can see there, I've got a little bit of the previous note and the note I want, which is the first note of the section we're learning. So what I can actually do, I don't have to completely redraw my selection. I can just hover over here and I can drag it back down to where the beginning of that is. Now if I, I can press play there. So there's the, there's the first note of our of our little solo. I'll drag the back in, let's go rid of that little symbol, um, symbol hit. So there we go, so there's our first note. And that's just looping fairly quickly there, but obviously what we can do is we can, using the tempo slider, we can pull that right back, let's pull it back to around about sort of 45-50%. So that's 44%. So, so there's, my, uh, there's my loop playing, that's the note that we're actually looking for, our first note of the of the solo or the breakdown section that we're looking at. Now, there's quite a bit of bass there as well, which is, you know, it's kind of getting in the way of the guitar. So what I can actually do to make the guitar easy to sing, I can wind off the bass a little bit. So I'll play that. Now if I drag the bass down, put the bass at about 15-16%, a bit more than that actually, 24. There we go. So I can still hit the bass, but actually we've got rid of a lot of it, and now the, the guitar itself is a lot clearer. So, what I would normally do here at this point, if I want to work out what that note is, I keep it playing, and at the same time as playing it, I'd try to locate that note on my guitar. So, here we go. Okay, so I think I've found it there. So that is uh, your bottom E, and it's the fifth fret, so it's an A. So, the next one we want then, let me get rid of that selection. I can just click off it, and that gets rid of that selection. Now I'm just playing normally. Obviously we're playing at 44% at the moment. So this is the next note we want, this one just here. So let's highlight that. Now obviously there's a little bit of a bend on that one. There it is. So we've got our first two notes are So, I mean, there's a little section we've got there. Uh, what I can actually do is I can drag that back and I'll pop that there. So there's our, um, now I can play along to that, practice it nice and slowly so I can go. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that at that speed. So what the next thing to do obviously is let's up the speed a bit. Well, I'll take it all the way up to 100. 
Okay, now what I'm finding there is that loops, even though it's fine, I'm keeping up, what I am finding is the beginning of the loop comes around a bit quick, so I've not fully finished, I haven't got time to re-prepare myself. So what we actually have is this little button down here is called the loop countdown button. So I can toggle that on, or I can toggle it off, or shortcut key is C, so I'll put it on. Now you'll see when I play the loop, I actually get a countdown into when the loop's going to start. So here we go, three, two, one, and the loop starts. And you'll see that each time the loop reaches the end, you get time to re-prepare yourself. So this should make it easier for me to play along. So there we go. So we've learned that other section there. Now say I'm happy with that section, I want to go back and I will want to play it again and again. Obviously this being a quick selection, if I click anywhere else, I'm going to lose my selection. So what I can actually do is copy that selection into one of the five built-in loops in iRehearse Plus. So if I right click on the selection, I can go to selection, I can either deselect it, or I can actually copy it into loop one. So there we go. So that's actually, now if I deselect, you'll see that my loop is still here with my selection in. So now if I play loop one, using the play loop button down here, you'll see again I get my countdown, and again, off we go. And there we go. So that's a quick rundown of some of the new features in iRehearse Plus. It allows you to really zoom in and really work closely on a track and really work out the notes.